What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? And it's time for an episode of P and Q. And I am recording this on the Friday night. The time, in case you're interested, I'm sure you won't be. It's actually 20 past seven in the evening on Friday night. That's when I'm recording this. Um, because I've got more stuff going on over the weekend and possibly Monday and it's just hectic. Our oven's packed up. So we'll get that fixed tomorrow. Oh man, it's just all blur. Anyway, you don't want to hear about that. This is P&Q. This is the question and answer series where you get to ask me questions or make comments and I respond the following week. So you can do this one of two ways. You can either pop your comment or question down below in the comment section of this video, which is the most popular way, or you can email me directly at miniwarzone at gmail.com and I will put a link in the video description below. Now I've only had one email this week and we'll do that first and then I'll go straight on to the questions, right. <laughs> Okay, if you do email me, it's it's anonymous, so I don't reveal your name or your username or you know, email name or whatever. I just literally read the question, but you must put P and Q at the top of the email because I get quite a few emails. Uh, anyway, there you go. Right, so let's get on with it then. First one, right, email. Hi Pete, and I am wondering if that is a new bracelet you are wearing and where did you get it? That one, I thought I... Didn't I explain this before? I thought I must have done. Maybe I didn't, I don't know. Um, I got this in... Uh, where was it? Can't think now. Not Tavistock. Some, like, it was some kind of... Um, outdoor market... Festival type thing. It was like a holistic... It's a holistic uh, bracelet. Like It's got loads of magnets in it. Uh, by wearing it, it's supposed to help blood pressure amongst other things so that's why I wear it for my blood pressure there we are thank you for your question though um, Heresy Productions said hey Pete very quick question do you know if your paint holders on your desk are still sold anywhere they look like they hold a, a good variety of paint pots I looked around for them and can't find this style of rack anywhere cheers Palmer um, and I did actually respond during the week and said, and I, I said, try a seller called eBay, called, on eBay, called the Troll Trader, because that's where I got them from. And they're just MDF um, racks, really. If I, if I pick one up here, um, yeah, they're just MDF. You get them in a pack, you glue them together. And I just, I had some um, cheap grey primer. Yeah, so that cheap grey primer left over that I tried on some models and didn't turn out to be very good. So I used it on that, I just sprayed them up. Um, but they're, yeah, they're wooden, they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, it's like these, excuse me, they're just like tiered versions of these really. But these are good, you should have them down like I do, or you, could, or you can store them on your wall like that, you know, just, um, which some people do. Oh, if you do hear any noise, that's probably fireworks going off because it's getting close to November the 5th. Um, and then he responds back saying, thanks Pete, got your link. For some reason I thought they looked like a plastic mould instead of MDF. Uh, perhaps based on how you painted them, thanks for the info. But yeah, you go to the Troll Trader, he sells loads of that sort of stuff. And you can pick it up on eBay, loads of that. I've got ones with trays that come out, um, but they all follow the same sort of thing. I'm going to have to get a couple more actually. I think for when I move into the main studio. Um, yes, because I, 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 uh, I'm getting low on a few paints. And um, yeah, I like my paints. Um, right, that one. Sip of coffee, one moment. Mm. Oh, and the next question comes from Jamjar34. My bud. Um, loving your videos by the way. Um, he says, great video. My question is, choose a hero model from any game that you have painted and based so finished. Tell us why you like it. It doesn't have to be one model, but it has to be a hero or character. Well. 
I do like Mephiston. I've got to say, I've got a soft spot for Mephiston of the Blood Angels. I think he's super awesome. Even with the Blood Angel nerf from the last Codex, he is still amazing. I'm just going to tuck this camera slightly that way. That's better. Um, yeah, I think he's amazing. He's very durable. Um, not very killable. Um, so Mephiston, definitely. And um, Captain Morcus of the Ultramarines. So when I made up as a hero, Captain, uh, as a tribute to uh, Robin Williams. I don't have him here. I mean, or do I? I don't think. Oops. Just knock the camera. I don't think I've got him here with me, but just have a look. Oh. No, that's a shame. Oh, yes, I have. Captain Morcus of the Ultramarines. There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see that. Easier. I did that. Is it? Oh, I don't know. Lighting's not good. Anyway, yes, Captain Morcus. I made him as a tribute to um, the late Robin Williams. And uh, he's a hero. Him and Mephiston of the Blood Angels. And Mephiston uh, is currently downstairs at the moment. So I kind of. Oh, the other one I like is. Um, I like Phil from Zombicide. The copper guy with the, the shotgun. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool as well. I don't know why, I just... I like him. Not just because he's the only character that starts with a pistol in that game. But, but yeah. So, Phil from Zombicide. Mephiston of the Blood Angels from Warhammer 40k. And Captain Morcus, which is my own hero I kind of made up from Warhammer 40k. So, free there. I'm going to have another uh, sip of coffee. Mm. I know what you're thinking. Coffee, bad. Yes, I know. But I have been um, working hard today in the studio, trying to get it painted. That's another story. Man, the walls are so poor. I'm just trying to get it painted to um, try. I know I've gone off on a tangent here, but just quickly. I started to try and paint the walls because I just want to seal it in before the insulation goes on it. Um, I thought it would be kind of good, um, but man, I, did, I spent 18 quid on this masonry paint to seal it in, and it just soaked it all up, it was just too porous, I think um, I need to change my game plan with that somewhat, and see, I don't know, I think there's a video on YouTube about it, so I might find quite helpful, but anyway, back to this, Jason Pryor says, hi Pete, great show, Love it. All oh, can't get enough of it, lol. Question for PNQ. Sith or Jedi? It's Jedi. But if you'd have asked me that question, I don't know, 20 years ago, I would have probably said Sith. So I wasn't playing the bad guys back then. Uh, I prefer to play the good guys now. Yeah. In, in for the most part. Um, and because... The, the, the Jedi have different colour lightsabers, there's so many to choose from, whereas if you've got like, just red, I mean, you better like red, or you've you've had it really, haven't you? Whereas, um, the Jedi you can choose, you know, where you can have blue, green, whatever, you know, yellow. They, apparently they actually mean something, I know, the blue, the blue lights, so you look this up, the blue lightsabers are for the warrior class, Green ones are more for the mediators and the uh, the peacekeepers, uh, like the wiser ones. Um, the purple ones are for those that are oh, they train in um, a certain style, uh, which is uses the dark side as well as the good side. But obviously they're, they're just tipped onto the good side. Um, and there's so there's different meanings behind them. I can't think of them all now, but uh, look it up. They've all got different meanings. But for me, Jedi. Well done that me, run around with a lightsaber, or pretend lightsaber around the room, and oh, just me, sorry. No, I wouldn't do that, no, don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Lone Ranger says, alright mate, my question is, do you ever sit back, look at all the stuff you've got and think, 
can't believe how much stuff I've got. I'll never get this lot done. But this stuff here. I can't believe how much stuff. I love having this stuff. Um, I do look back and think, I can't believe how much stuff I've got. Um, but I love it. And it's what I chose to pour my finance into. And it makes me very happy. And I'm pleased with that. So, yes. Um, do I ever think I'll never get this lot done? Um, I don't think about it. I used to, I used to worry about it. I used to think, oh, I'll never get this done. I'm never going to get anything clear. And uh, I was told, well, just clear what you're doing. Finish what you're doing now. And don't open anything else. And I try to do that. Which is why the collections build builds up, you know, of what I have, tends to get more, oh, excuse me, um, but yeah, so, hmm. but at the moment I've got a load on the go because of the Stormclaw box set, that's really why, and yeah, Eric Beer says, that's it. We want Mrs. Mini Warzone to do this Q&A with you. Lol. What is the percentage chance of that happening? 50-50. Uh, it's a 50% chance and she may do a Christmas special with me on the, on the Q&A here. Yeah, she may do a P&Q and uh, yeah, well, she, might, she might do that. And um, yes. Then later on I don't know how I really call. Uh, um, mini Mini Warzone wants to do it as well. Um, my daughter. She said to my. She said to uh, my wife, why, "Why do you get all the attention? Why can't I do it as well?" Um, my wife said, "I can't think of what you, on earth they'd want to ask me, <laughs> but I'll think about it. I think she'll do it. I think so." She's very supportive, my wife, in this hobby. Very supportive. I mean, you've seen with the whole studio malarkey, and f for the whole hobby. I mean, you know, it's 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 incredible. Um, just to total total support, and uh, you know, I'm I'm an eccentric old bugger at times. I really am. Um, it's just me. I can't I can't help it. I love my models. I, I'm. I, I love that I found this hobby. I wish I'd gotten into it earlier in life, but hey ho, you know, it's never too late, right? Okay. Big Mech Dancer says, "Are there any foods you feel that you couldn't, you just couldn't do without?" Well, I would have said crisps. All right, because I mean, I, most people say chocolate, don't they, and stuff like that. But, ah, oh, take it or leave it. You know, yeah, it's nice, it's alright. But, bother me if I never had it ever again. Um, crisps was a harder one. I, found, I struggled with not eating crisps when I gave all that up um, for a little while. I'm okay with it now. Uh, um, except when I'm really hungry and I look at the crisps that uh, I really be keeping for my daughter. It's pat lunch when she goes to school and stuff. And I look at it and think, oh, I'd just love to have a pack of those, like, crinkle cut ridge chip McCoy things. I think, oh, they look so good. But, no, for the most part, I'm cool. Um, I couldn't do without. Oh. I can't really think of anything else. Um, I like my coffee, although I don't have very much now. One, sometimes two cups a day. Uh, whereas I used to have loads and loads and loads. Um, I, tend to, I tend to have more tea now. Get a bit teed out after a while though, don't you? No, I, don't, I really don't think there is anything. Um, oh, actually, there is one thing. One thing which I think I would struggle if I didn't have in my life. Oranges. I love oranges. I, I have an orange for my afters when I have tea. I just cut into it with a knife and then just suck all the juice out and eat that. Oh, I love that. Um, yeah, I'd find that hard, not having orange. 
oranges. I'm gonna say oranges. Alright, and then it's the last question. Scania says, I have asked Idik Beer this question, so I would also be interested in your answer. What advice do you have for gamers who have massive armies but not very much painted and are daunted at the idea of the mammoth task ahead? For example, I have about 15k of orcs unpainted. Well, this is what I would do, right? Depends. Um, I, it depends how often you play, okay? Now, what I would do is. If I had 15k of orcs in front of me, and I, and I think, oh, they're not painted, I'm never going to get them painted. Well, what I don't know. Um, do some videos on it or something, but but I don't know how often you play with with your unpainted miniatures. Um, but what I would do is look at the box, look at a box set, a starter set, see how many points are in there. I don't know, I think you get about seven fifty points, don't you, or eight hundred? Not sure. Just stick with look at the Stormclaw box set, which I'm I'm looking at now. Cause I need to. You get three killer cans. Um, you get a boss. One, two, three, five knobs. Uh, you don't actually get any boys. What I would do is I'd get yourself a. I'd pack them all away, the whole lot. But this kind of list down some of what you have got, and then say sit down and say right, I'm going to build an army. Pretend like you don't have any, but you have access to them. Right? Okay. I'm going to get a couple of squads of boys. Get them out. Paint them first. Don't worry about the rest of it. Just keep it packed away. Um, you know, maybe like a... I don't know what you have first, but maybe like some sort of vehicle or, or, or something. To go with it. Just, just enough to build a very tiny army. And then put that, I don't know how much room you got, but put the, so keep the main bulk boxed up or whatever. Just keep those out to the side, okay, have them in front of you on your workbench, whatever. And then just bring a couple at a time and paint them up. And then move them to one side. Get another couple, paint them up, move them to one side. Do it like a production line if you want. Watch plenty of paint along videos, like I do on the bench repeat. They're designed for this purpose. Just stick it on in the background. We'll paint together. I love that. I make a video. I get stuff painted and I talk to you guys, which is cool. Or if you just rather listen to some one ramble on about rubbish videos like this, is cool as well. But I personally like to paint along with someone else on a video that's painting as well and listening to them. Uh, Mini Wargamer J does um, painting with Jane, which is I love it. I, I absolutely love painting along with him, listening to his um, him ramble on about his week, how he's been, ups and downs, and I follow it like a bit like a soap opera, really. Um, Jamjar Thirty Four does some good little ones, like half hour ones. I do like an. I try to do like an hour um, painting with uh, the J Mini War Gamer J. He does like an hour. There's not many out there that do it. Why not do it yourself? You could do it yourself and that would give us something else to paint along with as well and watch. Um, you know, you don't have to have brilliant painting skills or anything like that. You just turn the camera on, start talking and painting. Or if you don't, you know, want to do that, then just um, watch other people do it. I've got quite a few videos on On The Bench series now. If you look at my playlist, um, Jay's Painting With Jay's, got quite a few. And Jam Jar's, you know, starting to build his up now. So, um, yeah, do that. Or oh, there's um, there's live painting sessions and building sessions if you'd rather do that. But the the beauty of the pre-recorded ones is um, you can stop it at any time so you don't miss anything, and come back to it if you need to, like you know, go make a cup of tea or whatever, and just come back. I I I, I like that. I like the live ones, but I also like the pre-recorded ones too. So. Yeah, that's what I would do. Pack all your army away. Just get a little bit out. A couple of squads. Max. And paint them up. 
um, pack them away or put them on a shelf, get another squad out, do the same, rather than have it all, no, that's too much. Um, like this storm Stormcrawler box set is as much as I would ever want to do on a production line. Um, when I did Zombicide, season one, painting all the zombies, that was quite, um, that was quite intense. If I didn't have the paint along videos to watch and make, I would never have done it. I would have found it too daunting. Um, I don't know how on earth I got through my Tyranid Gaunt and Gant lists. I've got hundreds of them out there. Um, I just did. I, I don't know. I think I'm lucky in, in respect to most people where I kind of... I, I tend not to burn out. I do get... After a while, like when I was painting the Termians, I was getting sick of painting red on the backs and blue on the Hormagons. I, I was just getting tired of it because these horde armies and swarm armies, they're just... Um, a lot of the same colour, um, so I'll just do small uh, bits and break it up. You know, do a squad of boys. Okay, they're all pretty much the same. And get a, get a couple of knobs and paint them because you can paint them all different colours as well if you want to, can't you? Or do them slightly differently. Um, like my bad moon orcs got a bit of yellow on, so you know more to do, obviously, but. Um, you know, they're a bit more interesting to do. If you get fed up with that, take up some terrain and start doing that instead, which I'm going to do, have a go at later on. Um, that's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it um, is kind of like I do it. <laughs> I have several things on the go at once. Rather than one big thing, I've got a little bit of lots of things. I've got some orcs. I've got some Age of Sigma, I've got some Dark Vengeance, uh, sets. I've got some Blood Angels on the go, I've got some Chaos Space Marines on the go, I've got an Imperial Knight on the go, I've got some bikes on the go, some Scout bikes on the go. I get fed up with one, I'll, go to, I'll switch and go to another. And after a while, it, it, it seems like you've got a load of different things surrounding you. After a while, they all seem to disappear. Hang on a minute, I've done those, I've done those, I've done that tank, I've done that bike. And before you know it, your unpainted model list gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And I'm looking to, I'm looking forward to getting all this lot done, packed away. Then I'm going to look at some other stuff. I mean, I've got um, Imperial Bastion. I really want to get out ready for the table in the studio, but um, that's a lot of work to do on that in the interior yet. So, not to worry. I'm um, going to get my Storm Talon gunship done. My Khan effects, my Trigon, um, oh, the Manufactorum, I've got some Centurions, oh, Blood Letters, more Baroque boys up there. I'm not going to open any more boys until I've done this lot. But I might be, uh, yeah, I might be fed up with them after October's over, I might be fed up with Orcs and I might decide to do something else for a bit. But I'll always come back to them. Um, I hope there's some useful advice there. I I, can offer, I offer whatever I have advice wise to you. Um, hope you can find some, glean something out of that. Anyway, that's it for P and Q. I think I've rambled on quite long enough this time, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Remember, all brushes lead to war. Cheers, guys. Bye.